Oi, 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 my people, how are we doing today? I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that great jazz. It's always ha I'm always happy to see your faces. Hopefully you're happy to see mine. And always do like, share, and subscribe, guys. I always love seeing your new faces here. And speaking of new, this is a today's m movie is very new to me. Uh, I only know of two other people besides me that has seen this. Uh, I know there's more people out there at this point now, but um, uh, this movie here it went through some. Cr crazy crazy stuff from everything I've read up on it and and uh uh it just in it's just insane uh the 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 measures that had to be done to get to taken to be to get this movie like out there for us now at this moment uh Tony Masiello um I believe that's I'm sorry if I murder your name Tony but um over at SOV horror yes SOV horror.com SOV horror.com and SOV horror.com do check that out and that's SOV and I believe it's capitalized uh either way it's um it's a small company that uh, uh, specializes in uh, shot on video horror classics or cult classics. Um, they are new to me uh, within the last, uh, like I just got my first title uh, the other, like I ordered my first just last week. And uh, I haven't received it yet because it's it's been only a few days, but I, just, I think I ordered it Friday, so it's, it's, it didn't ship till Monday. Anywho, that's only been a couple of days ago, but that that's neither here nor there. I don't even know why I brought that up. Uh, but anyways, this this uh, this they uh, specialize in shot on video uh, cult films. They have a whole bunch of them. Uh, they have, I believe, it was six of them coming out, uh, or they're out now. That just they uh, are all. Uh, some stuff there's stuff that i've heard of in there and there's stuff i haven't heard of in there um there's uh, it's uh there's like stoinky beach which looks amazingly funny it's like a like a, a uh, i think i believe it's an 80s movie but uh most most sov films are are uh, um either 80s 90s movies or they're um uh, movies that are like throwbacks basically which there's a lot of that going on uh, I think I like the SOV throwbacks more because they they definitely get that feel a lot uh, that nothing beats that feel of a of an old handheld uh, um, uh, the video recorder you know the old camcorders uh nothing beats that look um it's very very different um as far as um any well we got stoinky beach in there that looks great uh die which looks awesome uh was it ant uh evening with aunt bedelia i believe uh there's um death o lantern which is the one i ordered and i'm very 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 excited for uh the other one i'm excited for off that line is the dingleberries that looks epic uh it's it's a uh, talking poop uh it looks funny as funny as can be uh what else they got on their label they got mondo bizarro which i'll eventually pick that up that looks extremely interesting uh something that um i feel should be checked out uh but anyways um, I've plugged enough on there. I don't want to keep going over the titles. I want to actually get to today's film because today's film deserves some attention at hand. And this one came out in 1990. Oops, not that one. I picked the wrong one. Bloop. There we go. This one came out in 1990. I almost said 1995, which was yeah, uh, Monday's, uh, uh, release of Spirit Gallery, which do check that out. That's another one that they do, um, carry over the sovhorror.com they uh uh i checked i watched that monday and so far that's one of my f favorite sov horror film or just sov films in general that i've seen to date it's very well done um so is this one it's a uh like a metal uh like your heavy metal dark metal um horror type films like uh Rock and Roll Nightmare, or or Black Roses, or um, if you if you um, hold uh, New New Year's Evil up there, I I personally can consider New Year's Evil part of the uh, the um, 
the rock and roll horror type films. It's a very good one. Trick or Treat is one of my favorites. Yes, with uh, Gene Simmons and uh, uh, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, this one runs at an hour and 13 minutes, so it, it's, a, it's a short feature-length film. It's not long at all. It's, you know, 73 minutes. is is very doable. Um, that's the one thing about shot on video is um, they tend to be a little shorter than most of your feature-length films, which is perfectly okay with me on some of them because there's certain SOV that I have, uh, especially my overseas stuff, my French Extreme and my... Um, German splatter stuff that those there's some of those that that can be long should be longer and then there's some of those I own that shouldn't be uh one that I can think of right off the top of my head uh SOV German splatter that should be longer is the executioner that one's awesome anyways um now this one stars uh uh Hugh Gulliger um uh Oh, shoot, Pinnell. Um, was it Chuck Pinnell, Charles Pinnell, something like that? Um, I forgot to write his name on here for some reason. Uh, we got Janice Bowman, uh, Leslie Linehan, uh, Thomas J. Fulcher, and uh, Wild Bill all playing in the role. And then we have uh, David R. Yeah, David R. Williams was the uh, director of this one today. And it is none other than Metal Noir. Yes, folks. Did you, did you hear me all right there? That was Metal Noir. That is, it's from 1990. It's a lost shot on video horror film. Uh, shot on video uh, um, uh, rock and roll horror, like dark metal type. Not like you're... Rah, 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 screaming like you're so angry with life because daddy treated you like shit. Not that kind of music. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm sure I scared each and every one of you away with that. Uh, that was pretty pretty special, Matthew. Um, and I'm not going to remove that. Hell no. That's how I roll. I like the uh, the enthusiasm of my ad lib that I, I always do. Um, I do not run by a script. Scripts are for for different things, higher production values than what I'm rolling at because I am what I am. Yeah. Uh, so what's this one about? It's about this chick that moves into this house. Um, it's basically she thinks it's like the house of her dreams type thing uh it's one of those it's too good to be true type stories i wish i had a copy of this to show show for you guys because the artwork's really cool on it um it's one that i i will definitely be buying um today i did notice it's on sale for 10 bucks just for today only uh, Tony's been going through and, and doing a daily sale on, on some of his films, which is really cool. Uh, so if you guys are paying attention, do pick them up. They're not, they're relatively, uh, inexpensive too. They, uh, he does a, a great job with, with everything he's got, uh, from everything that I've seen. It's top notch. But, um, this chick Laurel is her name, which always made me giggle like, cause I thought love Laurel and Hardy. But um, her name's Laurel. She moves into this house that she thinks is her dream house. There's been some weird satanic ritual stuff that happened before that she li before she lived there. And there's this like crazy looking um, collar. It's it's like some sort of metal collar, and it's got all these wicked spikes on it. And um, there's a whole thing with where this guy is stabbing himself with it. It's very um, intense how like how that scene rolls out, um, and you're you're treated to this like right off the beginning. So this this movie doesn't waste your time trying to build up some momentum. Uh, it it comes in and it and it hits it. It doesn't like like um, floor it too hard to where where it peters out halfway through. No, it didn't. It doesn't do that. It, it definitely is one that keeps you stuck with it. Um, there's some really fun corny lines in there. Uh, some of the, some of the, uh, horror aspect of it is kind of fun and corny, but that's what makes it so good. That's, that's the beauty of, of B movies. They, they, they are, Meant to be taken seriously, but not taken seriously in the same sense, if that makes any sense. Like, you're supposed to um, enjoy what you're seeing, but uh, not judge it for for its flaws. You know, one of those things. Just just go along with the ride and enjoy with what you got. Now, um, 
I don't want, I really, really am, uh, I don't, this is one of those, I'm having a hard time thinking of exactly what I want to say about, about the, as far as the, uh, the film itself goes, um, uh, Tony went through some crazy shit to make, put this thing together. He, he went through uh, two different prints and, um, uh, that he had, or one that he uh, he had um, received from the director himself, who, from everything I read, the director was very um, surprised anybody would want anything to do with his silly little horror film from 1990. And uh, Tony was able to... Well, he was able to get a uh, through another person. I believe it was the uh, the Hugh G Gallagher guy or Pinion. I can't remember. It was one of those two guys. I think it was Pinion. Uh, but they uh, uh, um, he had like a, a work print, and uh, Tony had a uh, like a th I'm guessing a second or third generation, uh, like from what it sounded like VHS that he had recorded or that he had received at, at some point or other, forgotten about it, uh, was going back through because he was making a documentary on uh, shot on video. And he stumbled back across uh, this movie, Metal Noir. Uh, it's uh, satanic, uh, how it's supposed to roll out, so keep that in mind. Like most of the uh, dark metal horror-type films, it's always a satanic thing. The guy that plays the dark god is kind of cool-looking. Um, there's a whole thing with a mask at the very beginning. Um, it's like a, It looks like it's made of like clay, some sort of porcelain or clay. Uh, it uh, ha There's a whole thing to do with that. Um there's some cool gore gags in here. Uh, some that, that just, they work perfectly for what they have. Oh gosh, I wish I had, had one to show you guys. I will, I will, uh, get one eventually. Yeah. Yo. Um, but, uh, what else do we want to say? Oh, back to, um, the story on this. Uh, he got that, got a work print from somebody. He had his, his whatever generation, third, fourth generation, second generation, uh, VHS, uh, recorded, uh, type thing. And he was able to put them together and he had put new sound. He had to lift the sound from one out from the, the recorded, uh, VHS element to put it or not the sound, but I believe it was the whole sound, but, uh, or not the sound, but the, uh, the, uh, music. The music that went along with it, that that was redone on there, and uh, the credit sequences, I believe, is what another thing was. But there was, um, it had to be recut together to make sense, uh, to fit what's going on, because the uh, the the master print for it was, dis I believe, it was all destroyed. And I said, I read something in there about it being moldy, and just beyond. Uh, beyond uh, uh usable so that's that's really cool something that you can take into fat uh into uh into mind when you when you do check out this movie uh it is just just check it out just for the the uh the uh piece of history that it is um it's it's sad that shot on video films a lot of, there's so many of them out there that that are lost and never will be spoken again and it's it's sad because there's some freaking gems out there and this is one of them um as far as any kind of ratings i want to go on a technical side this thing is on the one through five it's it's like a three you know it's uh it's not groundbreaking but it, it push it pushes it enough to keep it um from being below average or anything like that uh, and then as far as um, entertainment side, this thing is is solid entertainment. It's a four out of five. It's this is definitely a seven out of ten film. Uh, I highly highly recommend it. Over you'll get it at sovhorror.com. I know I've been saying that a lot, but I can't stress it enough. Um, they're awesome. Uh, Tony is a great guy, and and he's. Uh, do look out for some uh, more shot on video coming up because I got some coming from him that I'm going to be also reviewing. I can't wait. Uh, that hopefully next week that they'll they'll be here sometime next week and I'm able to squeeze them in because I want to do a shot on video week next week. 
anyways, uh, so 7 out of 10, let's call that good. Um, do check out the link in the trailer. It's pretty cool the way, um, the way it's put together. You can just tell how much love is right there alone just in the trailer. Uh, and it gives you a perfect um, feel for what you're going to get. It's it's this is not your Suspirias or or your uh, uh, what is a good your Chainsaw Massacre like your your higher echelon of of uh, excellent horror film. This is not that. This is B level. Uh, do go in go in with that. Um, and if you if you dislike B level movies, I'm sorry. They they're just entertaining as hell. And they, you should really um, step out of your boundaries a little bit. Step out of the box and check some other stuff out. I do try to step out of my boundaries once in a while. And I always fail miserably. <laughs> all right, guys. I love all your faces. I'm coming up on that 16-minute mark. Um, do check out this one uh, tomorrow, uh, Thursday, Friday. I'm not 100% what I got rolling on. Uh, tomorrow, I think think I got that one set in the bag it's gonna be I believe it's if I choose it it's a it's a horror comedy yeah all right guys love your faces see you tomorrow uh, and as always peace sovhorror.com